In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. I'm about to start working on the sliding barn doors that are in our bedroom. Chris got all the wood slats uh, cut for me and I'm going to uh, lay out the design um, to see how I want it to look and then make the more specific cuts like the more angled cuts um, after I lay out the design. So that's what I'm going to get started on now. All right. And we have a already uh, labeled out so top here right now I'm gonna make my more precise cuts with my chop saw. Now my second attempt at these doors. Uh, we bought new wood at Lowe's. Um, I still need to cut the wood for this door for the edges. Hopefully that goes well because it's still the cheap plywood but I think the straight cuts are better than the angled cuts. Uh, that one is all laid out for the edges. I just need to make the angled cuts. finished cutting all the wood pieces and now it's time to glue them on and nail them down. I'm going to use liquid nails and then also have a brad nailer that I'm just gonna do a couple of nails in just to hold them in place. I have labeled everything so I know this one goes on top Right, left, yada, yada. Ready?
last piece. This has taken all day, literally all day, and I haven't even painted it. We like measured three times, finally got it good, looks great. Last piece, then I'll be done. Drama queen. Ooh. You're such a drama queen. This stuff's so messy, I put gloves on. Uh. Looks like some kind of poop. It's weird. It is extremely sticky, messy. It smells, but should do the trick. Shouldn't have to nail these pieces down. They're pretty straight. Good pieces of wood. You need a hammer somehow? Yes. All right. Done. For now. For now. Stop the paint. Oh, and I need to caulk. So I am going to caulk. Then I'll be done. I have finished uh, gluing down all my wood boards and I also um, attached with some brad nails as well just to uh, attach it better <laughs> to the door. Um, there were some small gaps in areas and I recommend and the bigger gaps with your, you know, you're going to have some cuts that are uneven uh, using this wood filler. It's awesome. It goes right in. It dries hard and then it's sandable and paintable. And then for the smaller edges, I use this caulk that's also uh, paintable. It's a latex silicone caulk. Um, and I just put that in just to refine the edges on the doors and it just hides some imperfections. And now I'm going to sand and then I'm gonna paint. This is the day that doesn't end. No, it's the job that doesn't end. It's a day that's gonna end. It's already dark outside. We are confining ourselves to the inside of the camper. We're gonna work into the night, well into the night, because we were so far behind what we thought was our schedule. I thought we were gonna be done painting in two days. And it just keeps going and going. Little energizer going battery going on. Going. Lindsay's gonna finish up painting. And I'm going to start putting the hardware back on the drawers and the cabinets. So the plan will be tomorrow to be able to throw them all back together on the shelving where they are now missing. To get rid of this plastic, all the blue tape, the painter's tape. And hopefully by the end of tomorrow, this place looks fantastic. I'm gonna break out the old drill and all the hardware, not all of it, but a good chunk of it's right here. And this is gonna go back on the doors and the cabinets. I don't even know where the handles are. Lindsay's got handles. And basically gonna try to get it all worked out. It is 7.33 p.m. I'd like to say I could get this done in two hours. I don't think it's gonna take two hours. I think it's gonna take like six. But I'm gonna do the best that I can possibly do to get some of this stuff cranked out.
now uh, put on most of the handles or the new hardware on the cabinet doors and we have organized for the most part where the doors go back on so we're getting there what about the little shiny part we forgot to spray paint black yes uh, we only sprayed one side of the hinges thinking that that would be the only side that would be seen and it turns out it's not so we have to flip them over and spray the other hinge side. factory yeah. but that's not terribly hard to do so it's just more time it's just yeah so know. we're not going to have all the hardware on tonight yeah. a couple more minutes of work in here and then i'm calling. but the handles the new handles that i bought are on i like them good. a lot they look really nice yeah so right now we've got the drawers and the doors well, the doors have the handles already we got that done and now we're going to put on the back we're going to be putting the hinge so we've got our hinges spray painted black on both sides, plenty of screws, and in these particular doors we've also got our struts. So we're going to put these struts on and we'll show you how that goes when we zip it back together in the living room. Basically it keeps tension on the cabinet so it doesn't bounce around and clang around uh, when you're driving and also when you lift it up it will hold it um, all the way up so it doesn't drop back down with gravity. So really cool, simple little contraption. The camper came with these. I'd probably put them on if it didn't because it's a really awesome way of keeping the drawers nice and tight. Last thing you want to hear is any more banging around as you're driving. So uh, it's inevitable in a Class C when your house is also inside your car and as you drive and hit a bump, you hear everything shake. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this going and um, it'll take a couple minutes. We've got about 30 doors and cabinets that we've got to do. Hello, lady. Is that time? Time for what? You got your band-aid off. Yeah. That's great. I know. My nose is all healed yeah. up. It did leave a red mark, though. Oh, like a chicken pox. Yeah. Well, it's that time. We got everything painted. Yeah. Everything, all the walls, yeah. everything. Everything but touch-ups. Everything but touch-ups, which we're okay with. All the with. main stuff is done. So that means we can... Pull the tape down. Take the tape and the plastic down. Plastic, tape... Reveal the lights, put the cabinet doors back on. Um, yeah, put the lights back up there, be able yep. to turn them back on. So here's what we're looking at so far. Lots of plastic over here, which I don't even think we needed. But we're getting there. You ready to do this? Slow and steady. I'm going to do it fast. <laughs> Let's get there. Okay. Got all the paint, all the plastic done. Now it's time for cabinets. Put the cabinet doors back on. Yeah. Let's do it. So we have all the cabinet doors on in the living room. It looks awesome in here. 
and we are going to get started on, I think we have one last kitchen cabinet. The microwave will not be going back in. So the microwave here will not be going back in. I got an awesome air fryer toaster oven for Christmas and that's what we will be putting in here. And we're just gonna leave it open. Gonna wrap it for today. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Like it if you haven't already done so. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Let your friends know that we are in this to help you become experts of living the abundant life on the road. This is our remodel of our home. We're excited about it. We hope you're excited. Thanks again for being a part of our journey, and we will see you next time. You will see us next time. <laughs> I always do that. Yeah, no, right? I always We're not say gonna I'll see, see you. you. You're going to see us. Sometime we may see you somewhere yep. in the future. That'll be cool. Maybe on a beach in Baja. Yeah. Because that's where my I'm mind Baja. is right now. <laughs> Baja, Baja, Baja. Baba, Felicia. <laughs>